Hey, Malarkey here, checking in from uh, Rooster County up in northern Maine. Getting in a little R&R, &R, a little family vacation, the old ball and chain, my boy up here with me. I'm doing a little side-by-side -side riding, some four-wheel action. And, uh, got up nice and early this morning, went to check out some moose. And uh, when you know it, got some work to do from that little early morning excursion. Gonna get into it and show you what happened. Well, there it is right there. The old TRD, the old turd. Diarrhea color edition. Front to back wiper here. Come out this morning, make a few errands, run a few errands up to town. Flat tire right here. Driver rear. Like, what in the hell we got going on here? So, gonna do some basic stuff here. I'm gonna show you how to change the spare. Right here, this is the fixed tire. Got a plug in it. A little butt plug. Yeah. Took it off. Went up the road a piece. Up Duffy's garage. Took right care of me. This is what I owe you. Oh, I don't know. Maybe about 10 bucks I'll cover it, bud. It's all right. Here's 15. Thanks for your time. Gonna go ahead and show you how to change the spare. Pretty simple. Even a dummy can do it. All right. Went and located my wrench set. Went and located my jack. Right here's the uh, spare tire. So I'm gonna pull this off, put it back under, but it doesn't matter if it's spare tire, regular tire, whatever tire. Change the tire, still change the tire. It's pretty damn simple if you ask me. A couple important things before we get going here. First, you want to locate your jack set. My truck is underneath the back seat. I'm going to show you the jack in there on a piece of wood so it's nice and flat and secure. A couple other key things in your uh, jack set. Breaker bar. It's not a four-way like you used to. Yeah, and then you have this other device here with a hook on the end. And also, a couple extensions. That hook is what goes into your jack, spins it up. Extensions uh, makes it so you can get to it. One more very important thing. E-brake is set. She ain't rolling anywhere, but just for safety's sake, got a couple sticks of firewood in there for wheel chocks. Well seasoned, good stuff. Last thing you want is uh, jack kicking out, truck rolling back on you, running over your foot. Next thing you know, we're in a wheelchair selling, uh, promoting bush light beer. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crack these lug nuts and uh, get into it here. Doesn't matter, this is the spare tire, doesn't matter if you change the spare tire, the regular tire, or any tire, tire still a tire. Same process applies. All right. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do, our jack is under there. We have it raised up some, take a little bit of the load off the tire so we can crack the uh, crack the lug nuts. Right here, so we're gonna use our bar. Raise it up some. All right, it's off the ground. We go ahead and take these off all the way. Always keep them handy. If you're like me, you always got stuff rolling around looking for it. Like Gig says, get one of Mama's Tupperware containers. Put all your knots in it. Don't be losing your knots. No. I don't have a Tupperware container, so just gonna put them right here on the ground. Actually, gonna put them right here on this. That's the, uh, there we go. And for one brief moment, I saw all the bolts silhouetted against the lights of the traffic, and then they were gone. All right. Last oh. one. Spare off. Fuck. All right. Got my tire here. All plugged up. Good to go. Line up your studs. Get her on. All right. Get somebody started. One important thing when you go to tighten up your wheel, the wheel lug nuts, is you always go. Crisscross. 
like say 12 6 3 9 type of deal it's very important that way there you get balanced torque on them These ones here are a little fussy. It's a tight fit on them, it's kind of weird. But, get her in there. Don't scare me none. Started. Make sure you're clear. In this case, you got a little kind of rusty center hub there. You can see it's kind of a tight fit with these rims. Got to make sure they're uh, seated right. Whoa, get them back over here. So, Boom. get these all snugged up some. Then we'll go ahead and lower the jack down. Torque them all the way. Then we'll take it for a hot lap, make sure everything stays tight. After, uh, I think they say 25 miles, you should go back, either retorque them yourself or bring them back to the garage that did the torquing in the first place. All right, car's down. Go ahead and tighten these ones up. So it's important to have a piece of cardboard to put your knees on. Remember, crisscross pattern. Three and nine o'clock. Seven o'clock. Call that a one, one thirty. The last one. Eleven and eleven and four. Okay, that's it. Now I'm just gonna make it official. Put the old Yoda symbol back on it. And right there, that's how you change a tire. So easy, even I can do it. Everybody needs to know how to do this. Kids nowadays, they probably think there's an app that'll do that for them. Well, here I am telling you, there ain't no darn app for it. That's it. All right, back to vacation.